to my channel. My name is Che, in case you're new here. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, it's about this whole look right here. It is bright, it is pretty, it is sweet, and it's perfect for Valentine's Day. You guys, if you haven't heard, Beauty Creations just launched their new collection, and they call it Floral Bloom Collection. This one right here, it is so pretty. I love everything, you guys. The packaging, of course. Honestly, you guys, I don't want to use this. I wanted to give this to my mom because she loves flowers. Who doesn't love flowers? But you guys haven't noticed yet, this whole look right here is inspired by this packaging. It is so pretty. Honestly, you guys, I wanted to make a review for Beauty Creations because they've been launching so many products like so fast. So I'm like, okay. I see you. For Valentine's makeup look, usually I just do a wing liner and a bold red lipstick and that's it. Hey okay, guys, so if you want to know how I created this look, let's go ahead and let's get started. Alright, so where are we gonna start? Um, sorry about the hair, but... Alright you guys, I think we're gonna go start with the eye first and before I forget, I have to prime my eyes. I'm using the Carity Eye Primer. You guys already know. Just packing this onto my eyelid and I just wanted to do this step to make sure my eyeshadow will stick there and last. You know, it's not going anywhere. Alright guys, so here is the Floral Bloom collection from Beauty Creations. This is so pretty you guys. Actually, this whole filming right now inspired by this collection right here. It is so pretty. We have floral right here. I just don't know why they launched this winter, winter time or maybe just they just want to be advanced for spring but this is so pretty you guys. And when you open it, The whole collection we have the floral bloom highlight and contour floral bloom blush and this eye bloom right here to be honest you guys i already tried this floral bloom highlight and contour and the blush i attended this makeup seminar by Josue. it is glamour by Josue. yes i attended his seminar and he included this palette right here they are so bomb you guys it is so pretty the blush and you have to see what's inside. Alright, so first off, I'm going to show you what the eye bloom looks like. This is what it looks like. Yeah, we're going to start off with this palette right here, of course. Ooh, she is so pretty. I also wanted to play with some other makeup products. We have the Bebella Pro Revolution from Bebella Cosmetics. I'm going to go ahead and use this Revolution palette from Bebella Cosmetics. Mm. I wanted to start off with this cream shade over here. It has no name on it and I'm using this brush right here from BH Cosmetics. It is pretty big and fluffy and I'm just gonna go ahead and pat this all over my eyelid. We don't have to be perfect because we can place this everywhere. Alright guys, so using brush number E40 from Sigma Beauty. I'm gonna take the shade Floret from this palette right here. This is a beautiful orange shade. Alright guys, so tilting my head back just so I can see more where my um, eye crease cut. Mm, why am I seeing like a summer vibe already? Alright guys, so going back to the Revolution palette, I wanted to try this bright pink shade right here. Um, let's see how it works. I'm using brush number... Pro Blending Large 27 from Sephora. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this on the center right underneath the second shade. I mean the coral shade that we used earlier. I wanted to go back to that orange shade that I applied earlier and extend this area right here. I wanted to be like pull out slick. Alright guys, so brush number E31 from Clarity. I'm gonna go ahead and use this brush right here without product on it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and diffuse this area right here. Just wanted to make sure that I don't have any harsh lines. I'm gonna go ahead and try this darker brown right here to deepen it out a little bit more. I wanted the shade to be deeper and defined. 
Alright guys, so actually that looks so pretty. Alright guys, so I'm gonna take shade Jasmine over here and I wanted to apply this on the center. I'm gonna use brush number 8 from BH Cosmetics and let me go ahead and spray this first. I love that I applied this on the center because the shade is so pretty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Going back to that brush, brush number E31 from Clarity, I am just gonna go and blend everything here. I love that this shadows from this palette it is so easy to blend. Can you guys see the shade already? It is so pretty. Alright guys, so I think we're done with Jasmine. I'm gonna go ahead and use a smaller brush just to define that dark pink that I applied earlier right over here. Alright, so for the eyeliner, I wanted to try this liquid eyeliner from Sugar Cosmetics. Alright guys, I also wanted to mention that Beauty Creations came up with these lashes over here. The lashes, they look so pretty already. I love, honestly you guys, I love Bebella Cosmetics lashes and I haven't tried these lashes from Beauty Creations but Bebella Cosmetics um, eyelashes, they are so bomb. I think, um, let's see which lashes should I use. I use this Spring Flame from Beauty Creations again. These lashes, this one right here, didn't work for me. It is too thin and it's just not my lashes. This one though, I like this one. The band, it is super thin, but it is wispy and long enough. I love that lashes that give me that cut eye look. Alright guys, so this is the eye look so far. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation, concealer, and then we're gonna move on with their highlight and blush. And then I'll be back. Alright you guys, this foundation, concealer, and setting powder from Fenty Beauty, you guys have to try it. It is the best. And that's what I've been using lately. Alright guys, so let's contour. I'm gonna go ahead and use the highlight and contour. This baby right here from Flora Bloom Collection. This is what it looks like. And let's see. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the darkest shade, which is this one. Oopsie. This one. I'm gonna use the contour brush. This one is from Fancy, and this is what I use to contour my face for powder because this is the best. It fit perfectly right here and right here on my nose. Alright, so it is pigmented. I'm gonna mix these two right here because I think the first shade is way too dark. Hello, cheekbone. Ooh, I love this brush. This is my favorite contour brush. I mean, I'm also gonna use this to bronze my face. Let's see. But I'm using this brush this way, this side right here, like this. Because the contour, I use this side, and to bronze, I use this side. Ooh, I'm not mad about it. it actually, looks good. Oh, there you go, guys. I love the contour, honestly. And let me go ahead and use their blush but this is the blush it looks like honestly all the palettes packaging are all the same super beautiful you, we have six different shades right here for the blush i'm wearing all pink right now i think i'm gonna go ahead and use the orange shade mm, this first shade right here all right guys so for the highlight i'm gonna go ahead and use the shade, this shade right here, closest to my skin tone. Before that, I'm going to spray my face first with these Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. And spray this all over my... Oh, it smells so good. Then, I'm gonna use my favorite highlighter brush. This one is from BH Cosmetics. I set this all the time. And then, highlight the highest point of my cheekbone. Right here. I'm actually mixing these two right here. The highlight looks so much better. You guys. I'm also gonna highlight my inner corners and I'm gonna take this 
shade right here called Honeysuckle using brush number E30 from Sigma. Alright guys, so for the lower lashes, I'm going to go back in with the Revolution palette and take this beautiful brownish color right here. Alright, so I'm going to use this brush from Beauty Creations and going back to that bright pink over here, I'm going to use this to soften the edges. Alright, so for the lips, I have two shades right here. These are from Bite Beauty. Alright, so let's try Fuchsia Frosting because I wanted the lips to be dramatic and bold. So let's try. I did made a lip tutorial on my Instagram with this Bite Beauty. Um, what do you call this? Bright, no. Crystal Cream Shimmer Lip Crayons. These are so bomb, you guys. What time is it? 11.41. Where are we going? Nowhere. We're gonna sleep after this. Honestly, you guys, like I said earlier, it took me an hour to do this hair. It was so messy, so I decided to just pull it up. And I actually love, love, love. Also, if you guys haven't tried a new Fenty concealer and their new setting powder, you guys have to try it. I love that it makes my under eye look so flawless and smooth. It looks so airbrushed and that's what I've been using lately. I also love these lashes from Beauty Creations. It's not heavy and it's not super wispy. And also you guys, this bright pink shade right here from Bite Beauty. I love it so much. I love, love the whole Flora Bloom collection from Beauty Creations. This eyeshadow specifically and I wanted to use some of these shades next time. Maybe on my Instagram tutorial. Let you guys know. You guys, if you haven't tried this yet, I'm gonna go ahead and put all the link, all of these products that I use for today's video in the description box below so you guys can check it out. So this is the final look and it is all bright pink. I love everything turned out. And there you have it guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you love watching this video. Please give this a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. I hope you guys have a wonderful and sweet Valentine's Day. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on my next one.